Hello my lovely Capricorns, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance and we are into November 2020. Don't know how it happened, how do we get to November? I have no idea. <laughs> it seems like yesterday that I was doing the January readings for 2020 but there we go, life moves quickly. Um, Capricorn, very interesting energy for you and a bit challenging, okay? Um, bear with me, bear with me because this is what Michael is telling me a slight warning, okay, relating to life balance, okay? There is a situation here where someone has gone along a certain road. They've been delighted at the success that they've received. But it's causing a huge amount of heaviness, almost obsession. And when I was channeling through, I saw the four of pentacles energy, which is really hanging on to something, hanging on to it for dear life. It could be obsessively working, 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 because maybe you found something very successful. But it's almost as if you're driving yourself to the point of exhaustion. OK, so my beautiful Cappies, you need to take a step back. You need to understand you're very, very tired. And you need to find a way of feeding in time for you. Now, what I also channel through, um, if this is related to a relationship, somebody here may be working to the point where they're not giving time to their relationship. Or there's a feeling that somebody is hanging on to a relationship for financial stability. OK, Michael keeps showing me this four of pentacles card and you know which one it is. So whatever your situation, whatever this means for you, <clears throat> and excuse me, my throat's really been playing up recently, throat chakra work. Let's get into this and see what comes through. Okay, wow. Ooh, Michael, really? Yeah, he wants me to relay a vision to you. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? He is actually showing me a ship that is laden with gold that is sinking and somebody's running around the bow of the ship clutching armfuls of, of gold you know trying to put as much on in their pockets on their person as they can before the ship sinks but the problem is the ship is sinking too fast they're going to lose the gold and if they want to save the gold they risk drowning OK, they could literally go down with the ship because the gold is weighing them down. Oh, all right, Cappy. So now this could be totally the cross watcher energy. All right. It could be that you are saddled, stuck with someone who is obsession, obsessively working. It's their obsession. Or there could be a sense that someone is hanging on to someone else here for financial security and they know it. The other person knows it. And it's causing issues. All right, guys. Ooh, Michael, can we lighten the energies, please? Yeah, he's standing behind me. Yeah, we're going to lighten the energies. Okay. So, Michael, thank you for being here. This is the reading for my Capricorns. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. And um, thank you if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. <laughs> thank you for coping with the ads. I know they're a pain. But it's the only way us readers can actually... Um, uh, be paid for all these videos that we put out for you guys you know otherwise it would be impossible to stay afloat so thank you so much so archangel michael who do we have with us please archangel shamuel archangel azriel archangel uriel thank you michael all right Cappy, let's see what's going on there's also someone here who feels as if you know, they're building a, a nice life for themselves if this is someone who is single, independent. But they they feel as if they're overworking almost to fill in time because they're no, there's no one else in their life. But it's become an obsession. It's almost become an addiction. Um, I've got to keep myself busy. I don't want to think about things. I might as well work. There's no one else here, right? Yeah. Just make sure that you are connecting with people. You are getting out there and meeting new people. I know it's tricky even now, right? 
Um, but do make sure you're doing that. And do make sure you take the odd day to yourself, okay? Michael's saying the cards are ready. All right. Okay, I'm seeing an E in my head. I'm hearing Emily. I'm hearing Edward. Michael's telling me a very unusual name. It's E-K something. E-K something. Okay. I'm seeing 42 in my head. All right, Cappy, let's, um, let's see what's going on. All right, guys. Mm. There's you. Yeah. Okay. Cappy. Wow. All right. Someone is obsessed with work to the point where it is damaging their relationship. It's also the only thing that they can focus on. There's a lot of guilt, there's a lot of remorse and somebody who feels very alone. Wow. Yeah. Wow, okay guys, I'm sorry for saying this. I'm hearing they made their bed and they're lying in it. Okay. King of Cups in the reverse. Under that, someone is very emotionally unbalanced. We have an Empress in the reverse. Somebody could be unbalanced about a Taurus. Somebody could have Taurus. And obviously... Cappy, this could be you, Taurus Capricorn, in your energy. Someone is absolutely determined to hang on to the cash. And it's causing huge problems. And if they don't release this control of hanging on to the money, and Cappy, to be honest with you, I don't actually now think this is anything to do with you. I think this is a person you're dealing with. They're going to go down. They're going to go down with a sinking ship. Okay. There's been a big disconnect between two people and there were problems to do with money. I'll tell you why. Page of Cups in the reverse. Putting away messages of love. Putting away messages of passion. Both, both people disconnecting. Both people looking at financial loss. There is a lawyer or an Aquarius Libra Gemini in the mix. And there is the talk of leaving a situation because somebody wants to move towards new love. But the problem is, yeah, is that somebody is absolutely determined, okay, worried about money, to hang on to the cash. That mindset is keeping someone stuck in a situation because they're really, really determined to leave a situation with their money. But Cappy, it's not going to happen. Now, if you are ending a situation, I feel that it may be your person who is wanting to hang on to the money, not give you any money. But it's causing a huge delay. And with that delay, it could be, wow, I'm also hearing that somebody's going to miss the boat. Somebody's just going to miss the boat. Which could mean that if someone here is trying to get out of a situation to be with someone else, with them having the obsession about keeping the cash, they're going to lose out on maybe the love of their life. Because the love of their life, if this is third party, is not going to stand and wait forever. They're not going to wait forever. 
they're going to head off in another direction. And I think there's a building tension here. You know? Basically, somebody wants their cake and they want to eat it. They want to leave a situation, but they don't want to give the other person any money. And I'm sorry, guys, this is financial. And we definitely have third party energy here. All right, my loves, let's delve in, checking the camera. Yes, yeah, looking good. So, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, my throat's really closing up. Somebody isn't telling the truth. Somebody isn't telling the truth about wanting to be with a third person. And it's causing a huge anxiety. Capricorn, you're sitting in the energy of the Queen of Wands. Very attractive, very strong, very capable, very stable. I'm feeling as if you're waiting to move forward. But at the moment, you're having to sit in the Two of Wands energy at crossroads. Because somebody is causing problems. Somebody's causing delays. There's no movement forward. And I think it's because either you or your person, could be either, okay, is waiting for a big payout, but the other person is not willing to give. So whether you're the male in the, in, in the story or the female, whether this is you hanging on for the cash, whether somebody else is, only you know your story. But that is the energy between two people. I think things have come to a head. I think someone wants to leave a situation to be with someone else. Another person's very upset about it. And they are determined to get justice. And it could be financial. That's what we're talking about. But there is also a need for fairness and balance. Whoever did whatever to the other person in terms of the practicalities of maybe splitting everything half and half, it does need to be 50-50. Whether or not you're angry, whether or not you want to seek revenge, whether the other person does, there is a need to take a really big step back from the situation and just think to yourself, I just actually really want to break free of this. And if it means I don't get everything I want, all the money, everything I feel I deserve, then I may have to accept it. But someone here is not accepting that. And it could be because of upset and anger because the other person stepped out. These are challenging readings for you guys. But there we go. In the past, Capricorn, you felt the energy, and I'm saying that carefully, you felt the energy of the Knight of Cups in the reverse. You may have had an idea that your person, who could be an Aries with water in their chart, or a Taurus, or a Leo, just looking at these energies, your person stepped out. They cheated, they lied, they deceived you, potentially, and you found out about it. So this person fell from grace, six of wands in reverse, okay, they were no longer looked up to in the way they were before. You might have put this person on a bit of a pedestal, Cappy, which they quickly fell off. You, if you are sitting in the Queen of Wands energy, you're deciding potentially to take action. You may have done already, and that action may have been, okay, relationship is over, it's done. And you're standing at crossroads, waiting to move forward in a new direction, but in your thoughts, is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? What you're thinking of Capricorn is, I'm set to lose a lot of money, or... I'm set to lose the finances that I built up in this connection over the past few years. 
I mean, this may be a very serious consideration for you. If you've got children, children are expensive. You want child support. If you've been sitting in a nice house, then that property needs to be sold and you should get 50%. Other states are different, but normally now, in terms of legal situations, it's usually no blame on either side. Whoever did whatever to anyone else, it is usually everything is split 50-50. And then, of course, potentially child support on top. But whatever this is, you are worried about your financial stability. So the story unfolds. Your person was unfaithful. I'm feeling that's what happened. You found out. You took action. You're standing at crossroads. And you may, it may be you, Kathy, who is fighting for what you feel is more money. I want more money. My person cheated on me. I feel deceived. I feel lied to. I believe that this is what I deserve. Now, the complication may be that if you are sitting in the energy of the Empress in the reverse, that is a codependent woman who hasn't worked, hasn't worked for mortgage payments, pension payments, investments. Maybe you were a stay-at-home wife. Maybe you were staying at home to look after the kids. Now, this is when it gets difficult. Because even though your person may well have stepped out and cheated on you, and you're very angry about that, your person may also be fighting against you because their argument is, well, whatever happened, happened. But ultimately, if I made, you know, 90% of the money, why should you get half? Because I earned the majority of it. Surely you should only get a smaller amount because I was the one that earned all the money. So we got a really tricky situation. And Kathy, this is something that you are going to manage. You are going to have to move through. I think you're going to hold your head high. I think this has been a very mortifying situation for you. And my love goes out to you because if this is your story, this is really not easy for you. On top of feeling as if your relationship has gone under, you're in a sense of possibly disbelief, possibly mortification that your person was unfaithful and you're having to cope with losing your stability, whether it's you having to move out of a family house you've lived in for many years, you needing to find somewhere else to live, you having to deal with coping with talking to your kids. Because the, as the mom, which I'm thinking this is you, you're going to have to deal with, not your partner. So a lot of it's falling on your shoulders. But Cappy, what I would say is, despite the upset, despite the anger, despite the fact that looking at these energies, I'm pretty much on your side, you may not walk away with what you're wanting financially. And it may well be that you have to accept that. Okay. So Michael, when do we have the energy in the immediate future, please? He's actually telling me the 15th of November through until, wow, the 10th of April. Okay, Michael's now telling me divorce. Okay, all right. So that could actually be the timeline of you ending this connection legally. Cappy, you're sitting in the devil in reverse. Now, this is you, very unbalanced, very upset, kind of still coping with what's been going on feeling your way through this separation, this detachment. But you're also beginning to feel that despite what you're having to cope with, what you're actually doing is moving yourself out of what might have been a very toxic situation. There could have been lies, deception, cheating from your person. There could have been issues with trust, issues with children mind games, manipulation, narcissism. I mean, I can feel the energies are not, not good in this reading for you. 
And if that's the case, you're no longer wondering, you know, am I going to be OK? I'm going to fight for the money. I think this is really important. I feel very upset. I feel as if I, could get I should get justice. I feel, Cappy, this may be you having to just relent. Because what is becoming apparent at this point of time is that your person is fighting tooth and nail to get what they believe is a justified outcome. And what you're really realising is the longer you fight with your person, maybe through lawyers, whatever this is, the longer you are going to be held in a very toxic situation. And what you're realising is if I let go, and I have to say, Cappy, maybe, of the obsession of winning. I want to win. I want to get justice. I am angry. I'm upset. I get it. But release that energy because you're only hurting yourself. You're causing a lot of stress for yourself. And what you need to look at is, yes, but I'm going to be free. And it may not be with a huge amount of money, but definitely with enough so that I am potentially comfortable. OK, that is actually what you're beginning to realize. You're beginning to release the anger, release the obsession with getting justice. You're beginning to realize, OK, I have to accept this. I've got to release this. I've got to let go. And I think you're doing it because your person is sitting in the energy of the emperor. For whatever reason, Cappy, and it may be completely wrong, completely wrong, your person may feel as if they were justified in fighting for maybe um, a certain amount of money in a court decision. They're taking control. They could have a super hot lawyer on their side fighting for them. And it may well be you realise that actually, like it or not, the power is in their hands for whatever reason. And so this is you, maybe, taking a deep breath, swallowing your pride and saying, OK, I will agree to this, this and this. And then can we just get this over and done with? I think that's you got to that point, Cappy, where that's what you're going to say. Because you may be feeling you're, you're, you know, you're battling a situation that you're not going to win. Nothing's going to change. And all it's doing is causing you heartbreak and pain and stress because you're hanging on to the potential of what you're wanting, which you may not receive in any case. So this potentially is you saying, all right, OK. There's no point in fighting this anymore. I'm drained. I'm tired. I want out of this toxic situation. Let's just call it a day and let's just agree and get this sorted out. And I like this energy for you, Cappy, because I feel that any anger, any stress, any bitterness, and I have to say I'm even hearing the word revenge, is kind of dying down because you're tired of this tired of this and I think you're realizing what is the point in fighting for this what is the point because all I actually really want to do at this stage now is just to break free what you're fearing fearing is nine of cups in reverse this is what actually you're hoping for but I have to say, Cappy, this is a little bit of overindulgence. This is a little bit of I will kind of want it all, you know, which might have been your mindset if you felt you were slighted. If this other person, you know, stepped out on you, this could be a bit of revenge. Right. You did this to me. So I'm taking you for every penny type of attitude. What you're fearing is giving it up. You're fearing giving up that energy. And it may be because you realise that whatever happened, it's over. It's not going to change what happened. It's not going to change the future situation. And I think you're realising that if you can gracefully pull away, 
and say, OK, well, as long as I get what I feel is potentially justified, I'm not going to ask for any more. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to take this as a big lesson I had to learn. And I'm going to basically concentrate on myself, concentrate on my kids, pick my life back up again. Having released the angst, the stress, the anxiety, the determination to win, you're going to be dropping that energy. What you're hoping for with a Six of Cups is that you're not just going to be permanently sat in the energy of a bit of nostalgia, a bit of pain, a bit of heartbreak, you know, remembering when you two first met, remembering when your kids were tiny, you know, whatever this is for you, whatever story you have. Hoping that you are going to pull yourself out of that energy. The final card is challenging, Cappy, but then not all readings are happily ever after. You know, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. This is you. Yes, you will not be bouncing up and down with joy and celebration because you will not get it all. You won't get it all. You won't. But you're going to get enough for you to be able to get yourself back on track. And this was all potentially due to a third party situation. Now, Cappy, I have to admit, this could have been your energy. Maybe you're the one that stepped out. Your partner found out and they've used that knowledge to fight you in court. No, I don't think you deserve to have this much money because you're the one that cheated on me. So... Again, don't shoot the messenger, but this is a challenging reading. Because it could be you, could be the other person. Ace of Swords in reverse. Someone didn't want to detach. Possibly from a third party. Somebody didn't also want to break free of a long-term commitment because they wanted to stay financially stable. So there were lies all round, people not telling the truth, and a fear, maybe both of you had a fear of breaking this connection apart. Five of Cups, there is a lot of guilt, there's a lot of remorse from someone, there's a lot of sadness, Looking at all you've lost. Someone is worried. I'm going to be alone forever, right? Oh my God, I don't want to be single. Somebody definitely hung on to this through fear of being alone. But I think whatever this energy was, it became too much. And somebody called time on the relationship. So with the Three of Swords, this could have been third party. Two threes in reverse. Okay, overindulgence, toxic energy. But there is healing. There will be healing from this connection. Cappy. My goodness. Should we delve in? So Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the devil in reverse, please? Cappy, this is you. I think you're realising that you've got to kind of give up the fight. All right. You've got to give up the fight. And I think you're going to release the fear of going through the separation process. Because I think you're understanding that you've got a life ahead of you. You've got a life ahead of you. And there's no point in hanging on to a connection that is not mutually balanced. Any more energy, Michael? Wow, cards are being tricky. Okay. So you're releasing a bit of the obsession. You're releasing this toxic relationship, Cappy. 
And if this was something that your partner drew you into, got you involved with, uh, party energy, I'm so sorry. Because we've all been there and it's tough. It's tough. It's heartbreaking. So here's you accepting defeat. Okay, if we're going to do this, okay, I'm no longer going to fight you. I'm just going to let this happen. And that's exactly what we have here. Five of Swords in reverse, no longer fighting, no longer fighting to keep this connection alive. And also no longer sitting in a place of anxiety. Realise this just caused a lot of stress and anxiety that you want to release. So you're just accepting that this contract will come to an end. Yeah, you could have to cope with the sale of a property. Yeah, you're giving up on this. No point in fighting for this because I see the truth. And the truth is, there's no point in causing myself extra stress. I just need to be patient, tread water and heal from this connection. Sagittarius energy. Michael, what is Capricorn's partner's energy? Any more energy, Michael? Yes, okay. All right. So, Eight of Pentacles, yeah, they're standing their ground, Cappy, because this may have been a situation that was codependent, okay? So, if your partner brought in all the money, or most of the money, they're, they're really, really, they can't even speak, I'm sorry, I just feel so bad for this reading for you guys. Um, they're ready and willing to fight for this, okay? This is them saying in court, you know, I work long hours. I, you know, I exhausted myself in trying to provide for the family. So they're not giving up the fight. All they want now also is to detach. All they want now is to break free, like you. So... They're going to give you half the amount, 50-50, to end the marriage. We've got Taurus and Cancerian energy there. And then they're potentially going to be moving, relocating. They're dropping a big burden. They're wanting arguments and disagreements to die down. They are wanting no drama. I just want peace. And it may well be that your person stepped out on the relationship. Maybe they were unfaithful, Cappy, and that's why you're so angry. And in a way, they may feel relieved that if they, there was a third party in the mix, they are no longer with that third party. This has culminated in the ending of this relationship. Okay. All right. So Archangel Michael, what is the three of cups in reverse?
Oh, what was that? Okay, the moon in reverse. Interesting. I, I can't help but feel, Cappy, that you've got a relationship coming in in the next few months when you're over this. Yeah. So seven of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you're going to have to lose a certain amount of money. Okay. You're going to feel a little bit down, but again, three swords pointing into this chest, three of cups. This is definitely third party energy. Okay. But you're healing. You're healing from this, whatever happened, whether it was you stepped out, your partner stepped out, whoever this was, you're healing. You could be concentrating on a child. Okay. You could be wanting to message a Leo. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. The wheel moves you forward. There could be a lump sum of money coming in. Or you may be moving into a connection with someone else which is going to help you heal. You could be, of course, moving forwards with a, an Aquarius. The Magician. Manifesting a new start for yourself. This is Virgo, Gemini, potentially Scorpio energy. For some of you, you're reuniting with a Divine Masculine. We have the Emperor and the Magician and the Empress. This could be a twin flame situation. Knight of Pentacles, someone coming in to offer you stability. And I feel this is a slow offer of commitment because we have the Ace of Cups. Wow. So, Cappy, this is kind of the sunshine after the rain. I know it's corny, but I feel that this might have all been divinely orchestrated to get you out of a very difficult situation where both of you might have been unhappy and you're both now moving forward, embracing different life paths. Maybe potentially with the people that you should have been with all along, having learned some life's lessons, but you'll be fine, my loves. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles, the star. Knight of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, let's close with a Lighted Pathway by Lightworker Oracle and Tarot and Oracle, I should say. Beautiful deck. You can buy this on Etsy. So if you're interested, check it out. So Archangel Michael, what do we have to close this reading for my beautiful Capricorns, please? Okay. All right, there needs to be Honesty. Okay, this is you two maybe wrapping things up, being honest with each other. Okay, there might have been interference from others. There could have been a third party involved. Yeah. So you could have found out that your person was committed elsewhere. Or maybe their heart was with someone else. You could have been dealing with somebody who was a bit selfish. Okay. And I think you did get more information. And I think what you found out caused you to end the situation. Okay. Ooh, wow. These two jumped out. Yeah, they're saying let down your guard. Okay. Let down your guard. Be open and honest. Leave things amicably as much as you can. I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult. Okay. I think, oh my goodness, these cards are flying out of the deck. I think that this is meant to be. Um, and what is really lovely is we've got a positive experience coming, okay? And that may well be a new relationship opening up. Wow, and underneath that, if I can get this out, next year. So this time next year, you could very well be moving into a new relationship, okay? Which I hope you do, because you deserve some happiness, Kathy, if this has been tricky for you. So I'm leaving it there. If this is your story, reach out, okay? Do remember this may just be one for one or two of you. Check your other signs, rising moon, Venus. And I shall be back very soon for your next set of readings. See you then.
Bye now.